So you might be trying to figure out how you can shut down your Windows PC or restart it without using your dedicated power button. Whether you're on your Windows laptop or your Windows you know, PC, whatever you have, it's basically the same process. So what you're going to want to start off by doing, if you're able to use your trackpad or your mouse on your laptop, what you can do is you can swing your way over to your Windows icon, whether you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11, it's kind of the same thing. Click on the start menu and there's a power button option right here. So if you tap onto this power button right here, it will allow you to shut down your PC and or restart your PC. So that is an option that you basically have here. So you can click on restart or shut down and that will shut down your whole entire computer. Now, let's say you're not able to use your mouse or your trackpad, right? Well, the other option you can do is you can use your Windows shortcuts or your keyboard to actually go ahead and shut down your PC using your keyboard. So what you can do is there's a couple of buttons on your keyboard. What you wanna click on is the Windows icon and the X button at the exact same time. So click on Windows and X. When you do that, this pop-up is going to pop up. Now there's a lot of things on this pop-up you should be able to see on your PC. So what you're going to want to do is use the down arrow right here, the up and down arrows, to move all the way down until you find this option right here that says shut down or sign out. Then you want to click on the right arrow right here, and then you want to go ahead and you have access to the same exact thing. You can go ahead and click shut down if you want to shut down your PC, or you can click restart if you want to restart your PC. So that will allow you to do the exact same thing without having to go through and use your mouse. Now, if both your mouse and your trackpad are not working, but for some reason your power button is also not working either, the only other option you can really do without taking apart your laptop is to basically allow your laptop to die out. So just unplug it from any power source, allow it to just die out, and it'll eventually die out. If you have a PC like plugged into the wall, you can go through and unplug it. Keep in mind, if you have any saved files or anything like that, they're not going to be saved or un any unsaved files they're not going to be saved. So if you haven't gotten a chance to save anything, there's a chance you might still be able to recover some stuff, but keep that in mind. But those are kind of the main ways to go and do it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.